Hey guys, so recently a lot of people have seen trending that Google and Apple no longer require a college degree. Like, no shit. <laughs> let's, let's talk about it and let's talk about why I'm not surprised. I want to thank our sponsor, Mason. You can check them out at trymason.com. Mason is an innovative product that delivers front end as a service where you can build and design and create components that you can easily deploy and save money and build faster for your front end applications. Taking a look at it is really a clean interface, which is something a lot of times these types of products are missing. I, I'm very excited to see how Mason continues to evolve and how it can help change the market. Check it out at trymason.com. So um, as someone who doesn't have a college degree and gets paid uh, very well, um, very well is very well. <laughs> uh, so um, just take my word for it, it's very well. Uh, so um, I can say that in terms of software development when it comes to having a a bachelor's without having a bachelor's that it is a hard struggle but not an impossible one to break your way into the field it is one that uh, I've overcame and as somebody who has um, I've interviewed with Amazon twice Facebook once Google once and they reached out a second time to interview me and I, I told them I wasn't interested because I just um, just renegotiated my salary and um, I interviewed with Microsoft and they flew me out to Seattle. I did that, which, by the way, Seattle is beautiful. If you ever get a chance to go to Seattle, I highly recommend it. Um, the cost of living is out of this world, but the city, <laughs> the city is beautiful. Um, so I've I've had the the I've I've personally been reached out to as well as applied to these companies and interviewed. And um, although I have not received an offer, in all fairness, um, I have gotten to final stages of of a couple of them and multiple stages of pretty much all of them, um, except Google. Uh, so <laughs> it was just something I know I didn't get past stage one of Google, which is the algorithm, uh, question. So and Facebook, uh, I, I just took a phone call to Facebook and I didn't want to move forward cause I also had just renegotiated my salary. And by, by the way, most of these took place between one and now one and a half years of experience as a software engineer. So, um, when I see that, Google and and Facebook and things like that are there or excuse me Google and Apple are the big tech companies there's a whole list of you know you have like Costco and um and um I find uh, Warren Buffett's financial investment company sort of dropped that off the requirements you have to understand that I'm I'm not even remotely shocked because that has been the reality for quite some time and even when something says it's a requirement it's usually a preference and at the end of the day especially in software development we live in a world in which it is so hard to find good talent and I, I didn't really fully understand this until I started participating in interviews of how hard it is to find good talent and a lot of times in school you're gonna learn some things you're not gonna learn by any means everything and what what companies are really looking for are lifelong learners that's that's the key they're looking for people who, when they get out of school, are going to continue learning. And they're looking for people who are motivated enough that they never needed someone to sit them, sit them down and tell them what to learn. They just kept on growing and learning. And that's really what makes a good self-taught developer. And they're looking for people that to supplement that. Like the, the thing that you get out of a degree, and I think a lot of people misunderstand what you get out of a degree. Some people think it's a guarantee that you're going to have a job. It's not. Um, the only thing they'll guarantee is that you will have paid money to go and get an education. Um, and to some degree, a bachelor's will say that we'll get you through the HR firewall a little bit easier. And that that, that happens. Um, but the things that land you roles, they're not necessarily related to your degree. Uh, the things that land you roles are understanding how to program, getting better, and wanting to get better, and... Uh, having projects and having ways to show it and you know you can get that from going the self-taught route you can get that from going to a coding boot camp and that's another thing that I kind of bring up as the why I'm not surprised that Google and Apple are dropping the bachelor's requirement it's 
coding boot camps have existed for quite some time now. You know, they've they've grown in popularity and they've sort of maintained. Now, we have seen a few go away and that that's fine. That's happened. That's part of any business. You know, some people are successful at it. Some people are not. As many of you know, I'm sponsored by Dev Mountain. And uh, most of you don't know, but um, one of my spon uh, the, uh, sponsorships that I'm going to be doing with them is I am actually going to, in exchange for videos in January, be doing their online quality assurance stuff because I like learning. I am a lifelong learner. I don't do well in a structured environment like a college, but I could kill it for 10 weeks, no problem in a quality assurance. And why do I do that? Is it because I want to go into Q&A? Absolutely not. I have no interest in going in Q&A. I actually really do enjoy working in the front end and being full stack and all that sort of stuff. But part of what makes a good specialist is being a great generalist. And I think I can gain value as well as provide value by going and getting better at quality assurance because the quality that you write in your code is good, but knowing how to test it is even better. And being able to communicate clearly with Q&A about their area of expertise is an excellent skill. Why do I bring that up? Because that's the mentality of the person they want to hire without a degree. The person who goes out of their way to learn and and continue to grow. And there's a lot of different ways. It's, you don't have to go and spend, you know, seven, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand dollars on a boot camp. You can go and read books. You can go and have projects. And that's really what these companies are saying. You say, we understand there's a value of a per of people out there who can do the job, do the job well, and they just never went to school. They it wasn't for them. It wasn't something they had to do, um, and it's hard because it's it's one of those things. That a lot of times people think you're just going to be unsuccessful in life, and and um, that's not necessarily the case. If you can teach yourself good technical skills and you can do the role, that that's it. And I I, I personally can tell you that when it comes to the devs interviewing you. Um, no one asks you about your college degree. No one even looks at it. Most of the people that I look with just scan your last couple years of experience. They look at what skills you say you're proficient in, and they ask you questions that are related to the things we care about, the things that are important to our company, our business, and how you're going to provide value for that business. And we want to make sure that you can code. It's not all BS because a lot of you can answer the, f the phone questions quite fine, right? You've looked up the top 50 JavaScript interview questions and you've, you've memorized them. Um, we're looking for the people that can think, not memorize, right? And um, part that's always been one of my issues with college anyhow is that it's about memorization, not necessarily figuring out projects, right? It's about memorizing formulas and specifics instead of like who cares that... Who cares what year the Declaration of Independence was signed? Do you understand? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're getting we're getting a off track here, but um, this isn't a video about my my distaste for um, standard standardized tests. Um, this is about the uh, the uh, opportunities that are out there for people who want to work hard at great companies like Google, at at a Apple, and all the other companies that are there that. You can take the mentality of, okay, what did a degree provide people? Well, it provided them a organization that said you are at least completed all the coursework in your area of expertise, which is software development. And, you know, so that gives you a check mark to get interviewed. It doesn't give you a check mark to get to get a job. It gives you a check mark that we're at least interested in you. So how do you go about getting that check mark otherwise? Well, you do you do non-traditional things like me, right? You start uh, building a YouTube channel, you start a blog, you start become you start building projects where your portfolio is just so impressive that people want to give you jobs. I got I talked with a company earlier today who just had they're like, hey man, we're looking for someone to do software tutorials for our site. Can you do it? Yes. Why why is because I people you know occasionally will see oh well I recommend this guy because he's still worked for me and this and I've networked and. You need to start doing that. And, you know, we've talked a million different ways how you can build projects. I have a video called 50 Projects. Well, I think I list 47 that you can do. Um, you know, build a portfolio. Get your LinkedIn together. Get yourself out there. Become part of the software community. Go to meetups. These are things. They're looking for people who are active learners, who are actively involved in the community and can ha and have something to show for it, right? No one enjoys, like, like, if I told you I go to the gym, you might believe me. 
But if I could show you a six pack, you know I'm hitting the gym and I'm dieting it right. Dieting right. It's the same thing with you trying to get in, get your foot in the door. If you say I code, and you can sort of talk the talk, great. But if you can talk the talk and you can walk the walk, meaning you got project, 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 side project, recommendations. Uh, you know, being you're active in meetups. You you're talking. To, you have book reviews that you've done. You know, these are all things that can supplement and if you do both oh you're killing it if you got the degree and you're doing all this and that's hard right that's a lot of effort time energy money but you can kill it you can blow out the water so when i see that these companies are you know have taken that the degree required off their application you have to understand it's been off the application for a very long time it really has the hardest part is just getting through the hr firewall is it impossible no is it hard yeah um, will continue to be a challenge absolutely uh, but this is more of a this is more of a shout out to the people who are out there that think it's a requirement that hey it's official it's no longer necessarily a requirement we just want to make sure you're good so get good get out there and start working hard so you can get the job that you want in software development that's that's the point of this message and google apple they're they're waving the flag like it's been happening for a while, people, but now we want to, we're saying it's official just so that everyone's on the same page. So I hope everyone's on the same page. I hope you're working hard. I hope you're go growing and and trying to be that lifelong learner mindset because that's what's going to make you successful long term. But that's today's video. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that comment, that share, that like. Check out my courses in the description below. 100 algorithm challenge is a great one that I'd recommend to get you prepped for those technical interviews. And let me know what you guys think, man. You think it's all bullshit? That's okay. You're wrong, but I I'd love to I love to know why. Um and I think I think uh I think that'd be an exciting thing for you guys to debate in the, in the comments below respectfully, of course. Debating respectfully. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.